Hello again, my beautiful family, my friends, all my subscribers, whoever that comes past my channel. Oh, I love you guys so much. And I appreciate you all for spending time here with me, Dr. Destiny, inspiring me, motivating me, encouraging me, just helping me to stay on my journey. And I appreciate y'all so much. And likewise, I will always do the same for each and every one. And I want to see you all advance and grow to become your best and better version. Now, I'm back with the nutrition because I said it's been 11 days and that's just too long. So I'm supposed to be doing this weekly and I apologize for not putting anything up recently. So let me get started on my uh, last too long. Stay up here and, you know, make a too much to absorb at one sitting. So we're talking about nutrition. And I have videos up. And you need to go and look at those videos. This is a series. And I'm up to series five today. And the topic of this series is called Facts. What you need to know about. And each time I do a series, I will name a nutrition. And today the nutrition will be Fats. Yes, fast. So I'm going to get started. And if any questions, just throw them down in the comment section. Just ask questions, please, people. Be positive. Be intentional. Show love and respect. Okay, that's all I ask you. But you all are welcome here. Just bring the love and just share the love. Okay, so let's talk about fast. Let's get this over with. Facts, nutrition facts. What you need to know about fats. Now, I'm going, I got this book. I do drop this book each time I do a, a video series in the description section. So please look at this, that section. And you get all the information you need also in that section. And you also will find out where you can purchase this book. Now, fat is familiar to us as a substance that we eat in our food and that we store in our body. I like to read slow people. I'm repetitious when I come to reading. And I'm reading from this book. Both have the same chemical structure known as triglycerol, TAG, which when over consumed in food, it accumulates as body fat and what happens then, it increases the body weight. The average 70 kgs, 155 pound man has about 15 kgs, 33 pounds of body fat, which is equivalent to 140 thousand calories or 40 days of stored energy in the body but only 0 0.3 kgs which is 10 ounce of stored carbohydrates it's 900 calories i know these numbers are probably like throwing you off but just stay with me okay like I said, stay with me, do more researches, get more study. That way you can get more understanding to these different weights and energies and all these different things. You could you understand it better. Now, the physical and chemical properties of fats, the TAG, that's your triglycerol, in food are determined by differences in their component, fatty acids. That's what you call the FAs the fatty acids, which is different in size and different in number of carbon double bonds. Saturated fats are mainly derived from animal sources and are solid at room temperature due to a lack of the double bonds, such as butter. And so those will be those like lard and those 
fat greases and oils and things like that. It's not liquid. Basic is solid, okay? Now, people, while monosaturated fats, they have one bond. They don't have a double bond. And polo unsaturated fats, they have two or more double bonds, which these are turned into liquid oils like your avocado oil, your olive oil, your flaxseed oil, sunflower oil, and so forth. Now, let me talk about these oils right quick. Because I want you to understand, people always talk about fat, fat, and blah, blah, blah. You got to understand how these fats that we accumulate in our bodies. Now, let me explain. Monosaturated fat and your Apollo unsaturated fats, people, they are found in healthy foods. Because these are your healthy fats. They are found in your your, your nuts and your seeds and your legumes and, and, and plants and things like that. You know what I'm saying? That's your polo unsaturated fats as well as your mono unsaturated fats. They are your healthy fats. And remember that. Now, when you come talking about saturated fats and even your trans fats, they are the unhealthy fats. These are the fats that comes from animal sources, come from animal products and things to that nature. That's unsaturated fats and your trans fats. Remember that. They are unhealthy fats. Again, monounsaturated and polounsaturated fats, they are your healthy fats. I just want to make sure I clear that up. Okay, saturated fats, as I said, they are derived from your animal's sources. Now, let's continue. As I was saying, that we have a double bond, which you may not be understandable to you right now, but listen. These are oils that can be extracted from plant seeds. Like I was saying, your monounsaturated and your polounsaturated fats, which is your healthy fats. They can be extracted from plant seeds, including your flax seeds and your olive oils and your sunflower. Now, the human body can make all but two FAs, that's your fatty acids, namely linoleic acid and your alpha linoleic acid. So these fats must be acquired in your diet. So you must have those two uh, fats within your diet for you to get a healthy diet. And these fats must be required, like I said, in your fat because these are your fatty essential acids, which is very important for your body. So these fatty acids and these fats, they must be acquired and they are called your essential fatty acids. Now fatty acids are used as building blocks for cell membranes in the body and to make hormones like compounds. And these compounds are called esinoids, esinoids that have metallic effects essentially for life. Now fats are energy rich components of the human diet with important structure and functional roles in the body that makes them essential for life. Concluding this, concluding this, dietary fats are less filling and they provide more than twice the energy per gram than carbohydrates and proteins properties that increases its potential to increase body weight. While most saturated fats, as I said before, it comes from your animal products, your animal sources. One notable exception is coconut oil. Now, coconut oil do not come from animal sources or animal products, people. They are a healthy plant, but the thing about uh, coconut oil, it is highly saturated. 
it comes highly saturated and fast. So that is a notable, one noble exception is coconut oil. As I said, it is highly saturated. It's a very hard vegetable fat. But yet though, coconut is healthy fat. It's a healthy fat. Coconut oil, as I said, is highly saturated fat, which is about 85%. While butter, which is an animal product, it is 50%. And your olive oil is 10%. So people, I'm out of here, and I hope this gives you just a little bit information to get you started to do your own study and research. I said, go out and do your own study and research. Get this information, this knowledge, people, that's out there. Information's out there crying in the streets. Want to be a sword into your body so you can get that knowledge. I'm out of here. This is Series 5. This is fast. I have four other series up, people. Just go and check my videos out and you will find those. The topic is Nutrition Facts. What you need to know about, and like I said, each time I will put a nutrition to talk on, and today nutrition was fast. I'm out of here. I'm going to catch you guys at the next video. Bye.